What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. We are officially on what? Week five? Probably five and a half. Left. Of the quarantine. And some people have asked me, has did the cookware queen get totally like shut out from the stores? I can't get a hold of any new kitchen stuff. Well, I managed to get a couple things. Um, I got a crazy knife. I got a book. I bought this just before the quarantine and I don't remember what it is. So we're going to open that out. And I got a few weird things from my local club store. We got them delivered. So what's up? It's Wednesday. It's week five of our um, stay at home. And we're trying to keep our spirits up and um, have a little fun in the meantime. So join me, let's take a look at what I got. So I haven't wanted to go to the store. We've actually, we're on week five. We did do a Sam's Club pickup. Eric went and picked it up, but I had to order it like at midnight to get a pickup time. So we were able to get some fresh food. They didn't have bananas. They didn't have mushrooms, but we did get bell peppers. We got the potatoes and some kind of fun stuff. So I upgraded my Sam's Club membership because you get free shipping if you do that. And so their website has been sold out of a lot of things. So it's sort of slim pickings. One of the things I ordered was for $6, like $6.98 or something like that. I ordered some grits and when it came, I got three five pound <laughs> bags of grits. Can you believe that? It was like six dollars. What kind of grits are those though? Well, they're quick grits. No self-respecting southerner would uh, eat some quick grits. Okay, well I'm not we a southerner. Our, so. We pride ourselves on taking an hour to cook them. I might sort of live in the South, but I, I'm not a Southerner, so I can eat quick grits, right? So for $6, I got 15 pounds of grits. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with all this? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why I thought it was like one thing. Quick cheesy grits, holy cow. So if you have any ideas of what to do with quick grits that I can be kind of creative, let me know down in the description because I have a lot. 15 pounds of grits. How long do these last? These are good till October. I may have to give a bag of these to my neighbor or something. Well, I mean, is it really gonna expire in October or is it just the store wants to use them so they can restock them? I don't know. I love grits, but holy cow. I guess I'll have to help you one. Yeah. So one of the things I got is, this is for a pantry item. These are Idaho Spuds uh, dehydrated hash brown potatoes. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've never had anything like this, but they said these get like five stars. So... We're gonna try these to see how they are. It says 50 servings, I don't know. I guess you, oh, you put water in them so they expand. So I was like, how is that 50 servings? But I guess because they blow up. Um, so we see how so these are. So you're supposed are. to add water to blow up and then you put them in some hot grease so that water can then blow up? <laughs> I don't know. Or can we air fry them? Put them in hot water. Cover them, let them stand 12 minutes. Preheat skillet. <laughs> drain well, oh, drain well, okay. They're gonna be wet. <laughs> stand back, <laughs> fire in the hole. Wow, that might have made a mistake, but one of the commenters said that they drove like three states to get those, so I don't know if that's true, but hmm, we're gonna try them. Okay, so just before this situation kicked off, I ordered a book and I stuffed it away because I was like, this book's gotta be on quarantine. So it's been in quarantine for at least a month. But since then, 
I don't remember what I ordered, so we will see what this is. I'm assuming I ordered a cookbook. So uh, Christmas in April? <laughs> oh, okay, now I remember. <laughs> so I ordered the electric bread book. This is a bread machine uh, cookbook. And this is an old one. Um, Cause they mention Dak, Hitachi, uh, the well-built, those have all since went out of, um, went out of production. Oh, there's a, someone left an order form in here for Planters Peanut Center, where you could order peanuts. Is that a serendipity moment? Am I supposed to order, order some peanuts? peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> there's also an article, any way you slice it, the bread machine saves time, collector's edition. This is from, this is almost, yeah, it's a taste of home recipe, page of a taste of home. But it's buttermilk wheat bread, oatmeal bread, and onion dill bread. So would it be interesting to make one of these, boo? Just like cold turkey make one? Uh, oatmeal bread? Just to see how it turns out from the secret recipe found inside the book, right? And, um... If they got any recipes for rosemary bread, because we've got <laughs> plenty of rosemary. Yeah. So this is pretty interesting. And this book covers your bread machine, gourmet bread, specialty doughs, unique spreads, troubleshooting. Huh. Welcome to electric bread. Tips for suggest. This is interesting. I like this book. I already like it. They show different flours, spices, yeasts, um, health grains, Cinco de Mayo, classic white bread, whole wheat. Huh, interesting. Citrus? You make this in a bread machine? Oh, citrus bread. Maybe you put some orange juice in there? I guess. Apricot bread. Mm. Huh. Mm. Yeah, Eric could like that. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. I'll put a link down in the description to this. Obviously, you have to get it used. It's called Electric Bread. And it was published, The Innovative Cooking Enterprises. It was published in 1993. Older than your, uh, your bread machine. Yeah. Interesting. So I have used this Fury knife a few times, and a lot of people have asked me about it because it's so interesting. It has a fin on here, and I think it was originally sold as a Rachel Ray rocker knife. And um, they stopped making it. And so many people have asked me about this knife, and I've never really found anything that was similar until now, right? I ran across this knife from Dexter, and it is their, their uh, 8-inch all-purpose chef's knife, but it's called the Duo Glide. And it's kind of similar to this one. It's about the same size blade, and it has this fin on it. Um, ultimate sharp, long-lasting edge, and it's made in the U.S. Ooh. A new way to cut for more comfortable control. The blades are manufactured from Dexdale. I'm sure that's their proprietary, proprietary uh, metal. So let's see what this is, this crazy knife. If I can figure out how to open it. Without cutting myself. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, this is funky. It's got a little knife guard with it. it says Dexter. Dexter makes like beater knives. You can usually find them in like restaurant supply stores. Um, I really don't like these when they come in these plastic things like this. Look at how funky that thing is. It's very similar to my original, uh, my original uh, rocker knife here, except it does seem like it's a lot lighter weight. This one's kind of heavy. One of the things I noticed that the tip on this doesn't have much of a tip and it's kind of rounded. So you don't really get that tip like when you're cutting onions. This tip on this is a lot sharper and pointier. So I think I'm gonna like this better. What do you think about this, Eric? Just be careful. Looks kind of like a fish, huh? <laughs> so a few weeks ago, we looked at the Carl Schmidt Son air fryer um, pressure cooker combo unit. And I wanted to make a lasagna, so I had to order a lasagna pan. So I placed an order on Amazon for a Fat Daddy-O six by three inch um, springform pan to make the lasagna in. And I thought that I had one of these and I had searched all over the pan room, the pan cave, everywhere, and I didn't find it. So I placed an order. And for some reason, because Amazon was making this like they weren't shipping non-essential items. They kicked my order out to like the end of April. So I waited like two full weeks and I still had another week to go. And I was down in the pan cave and looking for something else and out the corner of my eye, boom, I saw my little fat daddy-o, six inch by three inch, um, springform pan. So this is kind of neat because this springform pan is deeper than your average springform pan. Springform pan. Springform pans are usually like two inches. This one's deeper so it's going to give us a little higher lasagna. So we're going to try this out in the Carl Schmitzon combo pressure cooker and air fryer. So we're going to be pressure cooking the lasagna. I got some lasagna noodles that are oven ready. Then we're gonna be using the air fryer to melt all the cheese on there and make it bubbly good, right? So we have our spring form pan, so we're ready to go with that. I'll put a link down in the description for this. It's a six inch, but I think it'll fit in there even though it has this lip on there. Um, so we're gonna try this out. Now what about cheesecake? Are you use that for that too? Yeah, you can use this for cheesecake too. So it's going to be fun. Were you going to cook a cheesecake in that thing too? Yeah, we're going to cook a cheesecake in that as well as a lasagna. But lasagna is coming first. So, yeah. So here's our little funky knife here. I don't know. Oh, I guess it fits in there. There's your edge. I'll put a link to this funky knife. I like it. It's got more of a grippy handle like the um, Victorinox. Um, it's not as heavy as this one. This one's got a really heavy blade. This is a lot lighter and nimbler than the Fury. Uh, so I think it's kind of funky with the fin on it. <laughs> so what's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. We do have something coming up. I wanted to get another freezer and we searched high and wide for a freezer and everywhere is sold out of freezers and we had ordered finally got one and we ordered it from sears and they were like oh it'll be here from in a week and then after a week they're like oh it'll be here in a month so we waited the whole month it was supposed to come in last saturday and then i checked it and the store is closed so we can't couldn't have even picked it up so we canceled it and we managed to find uh it's a brand new freezer but it also was like a uh, scratch and dead. I don't know. It was out, out of open box. So we went on this big uh, 
uh, journey. journey. Picked it up, and so we have another freezer. We're gonna use it to sort of clean out our freezers because they're kind of full, and also to um, put some of this flour in there. So it's a Frigidaire, it's 20 cubic feet, it's a big upright, um, looking forward. We have it in quarantine right now because it was open box, so it wasn't sealed in a box. And so we're gonna have to bleach it down, sanitize it, but we're letting it sit in there for a little while, just on quarantine, on quarantine status, till uh, we feel brave enough what to do that. What else is on quarantine out in the garage, boo? What else is on quarantine? Something from Sam's Club, it's kinda heavy. What? Your pears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one thing about Sam's Club, when you order, you get free shipping. So if you order one item, they ship it to you. So I had a case of pears sent to me. For some reason I, want, I was hungry for some pears and I couldn't get fresh ones. So I got a case of pears. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might chop them up and make a pear bread or something out of them. Throw so them in a smoothie. Huh? In a smoothie, yeah. Can't get bananas. <laughs> so, cooks, we have our... A uh, spring form pan, we have a funky new knife, we have all this lots of grits, and we also have a new cookbook. So we'll see how that goes. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I hope you're hanging in there. Um, I keep saying I'm going to go live, and I'm going to go live again. Um, I've just been really busy at work, so with work. So as soon as I'm able to get that together, we're going to go live again. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and don't forget to visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. All my recipes are out there, printable, um, searchable, all that fun stuff. You can also catch me on social media at facebook.com slash groups slash amylearnstocook, on, on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook, and on Instagram at cooking with Amy. Happy Wednesday, and um, we got this.